Hi, I'm Daniel Cham from UNSW Australia. In this short video, we'll be looking at the binomial distribution in probability theory. Our question today involves 10 patients in a hospital and they suffer from a particular disease. And we are told that the probability of death from this disease is equal to 0.3. And the question is to find the probability that at least eight survive. So to answer this question, we'll first introduce some standard probability notation. So we'll introduce x is equal to the random variable the number of these 10 patients who will die from this disease. And the key point to note here is that this x is binomially distributed. So let me just write down the notation for that first. x tilde b. And the binomial distribution depends on a couple of parameters. The first one here corresponds to the number of patients, 10. And the second one corresponds to the probability of dying, which is 0.3. OK, so what does this mean, that x is binomially distributed with parameters n equals 10 and p equals 0.3? OK, so let's make that precise. So that means that the probability that x equals k, in other words, the probability that k of these 10 patients will die, is equal to 10 choose k times this 0.3 to the k, times 1 minus 0.3, which is 0.7, to the 10 minus k. Okay, so it's quite easy to see where this result comes from. Let's just uh, think through this slowly. Okay, so suppose firstly that you want to work at the probability that the first k of these 10 patients die, but the last 10 minus k survive. What's the probability of that? Well, the first k dying is 0.3 to the k, and the last 10 minus k surviving is 0.7 to the 10 minus k. This probability you have to multiply by the 10 choose k choices of which k of those 10 may actually die. So that's why you have the product here. Okay, so if you haven't used the binomial coefficient for a little while, let's just remind ourselves what that is. 10 choose k is given by definition as 10 factorial divided by k factorial times 10 minus k factorial. And let's just do a little example so that you all remember how to calculate this quickly. 10 choose 2 is equal to 10 factorial divided by k equals 2 here, 2 factorial. And here you have 10 minus 2, which is 8 factorial. And remember, the best way to calculate this is to cancel the 8 factorial in the denominator with the last eight factors in here to get you just two of those factors left, 10 times 9, divided by here, two factorials, 2 times 1. Okay, that's the easiest way to calculate it. And then you'll see that the 2 divides into 10, leaving 5, and 5 nines are 45. Okay, so that's the formula that we'll need to use to answer this question. And let's see in this terminology how we can write down what this probability is. So this is x is the random variable giving the number of patients who die. And we want to say that at least eight survive. That means that at most two die. Remember, there are 10 patients in this hospital. So what we want is the probability that x is less than or equal to two. Of course, this x has to be a non-negative integer. So that just means that x can be either equal to zero or 1 or 2. And so the probability that we're after p of x less than or equal to 2 is given by the sum of these three probabilities. And how do you work out each of these three? Well, we just use the binomial distribution formula right here. Okay, so we just put in k equals 0, 1, 2 into this formula, and that will give us our three summons. Okay, k equals 0 into here gives 10 choose 0 times 0.3 to the 0, that's just 1, times 0.7 to the 10 minus 0, that's 0.7 to the 10. And then you have to add the second summon, 
k equals 1, 10 choose 1, times 0.3 to the k equals 1, that's just 0.3. And finally you have 0.7 to the 10 minus 1, or 0.7 to the 10, or, or rather 10 minus 1, which is 9. And finally, the last term is 10 choose 2, k equals 2, so you have 0.3 to the 2, times 0.7 to the 10 minus 2, or 0.7 to the 8. And that's the expression that you need to evaluate. The first thing we'll do is we'll work out all the binomial coefficients here. We've worked out 10 choose 2 already here, it's 45. So this last term is 45 times 0.3 squared times 0.7 to the 8. This term here you have 10 choose 1. If you put this into this formula again, you use this method, you cancel off the 9 factorial to give you 10 divided by 1 factorial, or just 10. So this is 10 times 0.3 times 0.7 to the 9. And finally here you've got 10 choose 0. So k equals 0, you have 0 factorial. You've got 10 factorial here, which cancels with this 10 factorial. So that gives you 1. So that's just 0.7 to the 10. And this here, you can't do it in your head, so I guess you just approximate this in your calculator. And if you put it into your calculator, you'll find the answer is 0.38288 to 4 decimal points.